Today on Forbes, the Chinese AI company Trump says is a wake-up call for Silicon Valley. A Chinese company called DeepSeek, which recently open-sourced a large language model, it claims performs as well as OpenAI's most capable AI systems, is now the white-hot center of attention for the AI community. Its tech is being lauded as one of the best open-source challengers to top American AI models, stoking anxieties about China's formidability in the intensifying international AI race and spurring U.S. startups to re-examine their own work after a foreign rival seemingly did so much more with so fewer resources. In late December, the small Chinese lab, based in Hangzhou, released V3, a language model with 671 billion parameters, which was reportedly trained in two months for just $5.58 million. That's a cost orders of magnitude less than OpenAI's GPT-4, a larger model at an estimated 1.8 trillion parameters, but built with a $100 million price tag. Last week, DeepSeek threw down another gauntlet, releasing a model called R1, which it claims rivals OpenAI's O1 model on what's called reasoning tasks, like coding and solving complex math and science problems. OpenAI charges users $200 per month for such models. DeepSeek offers its own for free. The power of DeepSeek's model and its pricing are already shifting the way American AI startups run their businesses. Jesse Zhang, CEO of Decagon, which builds AI agents for customer service, told Forbes that it's a cheap, compelling alternative to offerings from incumbents like OpenAI. DeepSeek's new model will likely force American AI giants like OpenAI and Anthropic to reevaluate their own prices. Aso Kant, CTO and co-founder of Poolside AI, a unicorn that builds AI for software engineering, told Forbes that DeepSeek's strength is in its engineering ability to do more with less. He said, quote, What DeepSeek is showing the world is that when you put a strong emphasis on making your training compute efficient, you can do a lot. There's incredible things that you can continue to squeeze out of these NVIDIA chips to make them incredibly more efficient. Manu Sharma, CEO of data labeling company Labelbox, told Forbes that with OpenAI's O1 model allegedly bested on certain benchmarks, some startups have already begun acquiring data to train more advanced systems. He said, quote, I think the AGI race is kind of reset in many ways. We are going to just see much more competitiveness across the board. Alexander Wang, the billionaire CEO of training data behemoth Scale AI, recently called the model, quote, earth-shattering. Others are less impressed. Writer CEO May Habib told Forbes she's not surprised that DeepSeek's models, trained on a significantly smaller budget, are able to match the most intelligent models in the U.S. In October, Writer launched a model that was trained with just $700,000, when it cost $4.6 million for OpenAI to build a model with similar capabilities. The company used synthetic data to lower its training costs. Habib said, quote, Even before DeepSeek's model exploded on the scene, we have been saying that these models are commoditizing. They're getting more and more distributed. Over the weekend, as buzz about the company grew, DeepSeek surpassed ChatGPT on Apple's App Store, ranking number one for free app downloads in the United States. Then, on Monday, several U.S. tech stocks nosedived as panic around DeepSeek's successful model launch spread. By day's end Monday, AI chip behemoth NVIDIA's market cap had been shaved down nearly $600 billion. It was a staggering upending of the AI world order. Greg Kamrat, president of ArcPrize, a nonprofit that benchmarks AI models, told Forbes, quote, it's kind of wild that somebody can go in and spend hundreds of millions of dollars for a closed source model. And then all of a sudden, you get an open source one that's just out there for free. For full coverage, check out Rashi Srivastava and Richard Nieva's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.